we live in uh, these buildings on uh, Amsterdam and 108, 971, 973, these two buildings I told you about. And um, they were railroad flats. Or, uh, and I remember, like, we would congregate in the uh, entry room, which was the dining room, I guess. And next to it, at the end of the railroad was the kitchen. And then going north from the uh, dining room were the three bedrooms, one after another, and the front room, which faced the sidewalk. And in the wintertime, that front room was so cold, uh, because we had no heat anyway, but we kept the flat warm because we had a coal stove in the kitchen. And I remember that how with this little implement, you would put it in the lid, lift the lid, and you would, and my mother would start the fire, or you would crush newspaper, and then then put a few pieces of wood and throw in a match, and then it would start the paper burning, and then the wood would catch on, and then it would burn away, and there's a big pipe at the back of it, so we never had to smoke or, or a problem like it, it rented out up out and, and um, it kept the that part of the uh, flat uh, I start to say apartment you didn't call those rooms apartment my mother referred to them always as rooms mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm referring to it as a flat mm -hmm. but it kept that dining room area warm and that's what we had a big round dining room table and that was the center of activity where we ate or sat and played games or whatever we had to do. And there was, I think, a stove also in that kitchen to cook on. Because you could cook, you could cook some stuff on a coal stove, but we also had a regular stove and wash tops and a sink. And the bathroom, they were all sort of stuck together there in the back. That was the last room. Uh -huh. And uh, and, and uh, I hate to say this, but we lived with a lot of uh, vermin in the building. In those days, they didn't have what you call, um, like I have in my current apartment, exterminator come around with. Back then, that was your own problem to deal with. And we had to deal with mice, with cockroaches, and with bed bugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, to me, it was just part of living. I didn't like it. My mother didn't like it and was constantly battling the uh, vermin. But that's the way it was in these flats. Huh. What did you do to battle them? But we do. My father would get a bit of, cut a potato in little slices. A small, he'd take a small potato and slice it. And they took some, like a stick, like a flat, like a popsicle stick, and smear poison on it. And this, the poison that they bought was called, I remember to the say what it was called, J O Paste. I don't know the J. And the old sword stood for J O P. And you put it on the floor, in strategic places around the floorboards, here and there, underneath some furniture. And you, you, you figured that the mice would come and try to eat on the potato. And, yeah. and so doing it would also eat up the poison. And that would be the mice. The roaches, I guess my mother had a some kind of a can with a long pump, and you, you pushed it back and forth, that squirted out, and you would try to kill them by, you know, you would mm. spray it wherever you think they were nesting. Uh, I, guess, yeah. I guess it's kind of like raid. And then, and then when it comes to bed bugs, I remember my mother lifting mattresses, and, and, and the mattresses in those days are not the way they are made today. You know, mattresses look today. They have just a tiny 
little like rope-like seam, and they're satiny, and they're not even tufted. In those days, they were all like sort of striped with deep tufts, like they were mm-hmm. tufted here and there. Mm-hmm. And now, like that little indentation, we have like a little wad of cotton for some reason, and that was a favorite place for them to nest. And the edge of the mattress was like a big, like a two-inch roll, like a rolling edge, if you can visualize. Yeah. And, and, and the bed books would, 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 and my mother would get a can, like an oil can with a long, thin spout, and she would lift corners of the mattress and squirt, of all things, but I, I don't know where she got the idea that this would kill them, kerosene. And, uh, and, and then she lifts it, and then she just squirt. Like, you squeeze the can, or you just pour it carefully and let a few drops of kerosene seep over the, wherever, you think, wherever you see them. So didn't that smell bad when you slept? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess you open the window, and then after a while it kind of aired out. But, uh, yeah, but more than... The smell, when I think about it, the fire hazard. Yeah, well, that too, yeah. When I think yeah. when I think about it today, it never crossed my mind as a kid and when I saw my mother do it. You know, that's dangerous. Suppose uh, somehow some, a lit match got anywhere near that mattress. Yeah. That's, that's some of the unpleasant stories of my very, very, very early childhood, like I was under, under the age of nine. I wonder what, I wonder what people who had uh, more money, what they did for, you know, to get rid of vermin and stuff. I don't know, maybe, maybe, yeah. uh, maybe those buildings employed exterminators, because mm. people who had more money lived on the West End Avenue, and, uh, uh, and the side streets between Broadway and West End Avenue. Those buildings, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, whatever, whatever they used, I mean, it might not have been much better in terms of safety. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I have no way of knowing either. <laughs> I just, I just know what's in my memory, for sure. And 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 I didn't think I wasn't horrified by it. To me, this was. Off, quote, off of the course. Yeah. In other words, <laughs> I figured that, that most people had to, to deal with this or, or had these. Uh, I, I, when I today I use the word problems, but back then I guess I just referred to it as everybody had this condition. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and probably, probably a lot of people did. Yeah, well, that's probably one yeah. reason why it was hard to eradicate it because. Nobody probably uh, went to great lengths, and you couldn't completely eradicate them. You just try to, you just, it was a constant fight against them. No, you just mm-hmm. fought, you, you dealt with the, with the infestation periodically to minimize it, and then it, 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 when you let it go for a while, it, it got, to be, got to be too much, and then you went after the critters again, and that's, that's the way life was. I remember when we lived on the Amsterdam, I don't remember my mother doing it the other place, which she probably did, but they think that the grouches would crawl around in a little closet in the kitchen where she kept her dishes. And I know when my mother, after she washed the dishes, like after dinner, and she would put them in a closet. You have to put them somewhere. And then when she took them down to serve food on them again, like for the next night's dinner, she would rinse off the plates every time mm-hmm. in case a roach ran over them. 